Good morning, everybody. I'm Gabriel Porto from the Membership Committee. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to uh, present this kind of uh, presentation, meaning that usually, and I will anyway later, and I invite you to join later in the afternoon, it should be the very first after the uh, lunch break. Uh, usually I do, um, I will say, uh, a presentation about how to become a member uh, of the community first and then of the foundation. Well, this time I wanted to uh, introduce the role of the membership committee, which I am part of. And uh, the goal is uh, to have new candidates for the MC, for example, for the next year's elections, and uh, for transparency, to show the members, to show the people how do we work and what do we do. Um, this is the agenda, but uh, I will skip it. This is a warning, there is a little boring part. It was really long, but I shrinked it into two slides, uh, so you're safe. By the way, prepare yourself, because two slides are really boring. Uh, as I said, this, what follows is a personal extract of the Institute's key points. Personal, because in the long, um, in the long version, I exactly cited the uh, statement, but it was too long, so I had to really synthesize. So this is a personal synthesization. Well, this is what the uh, our statement says. Uh, for paragraph six point one, MC is one of the body of TDF. And this is, I, I think, much clear. But to be more clear, the bodies are three. The bodies are three which are the Board of Trustees, who is all the members, the Board of Directors, and the Membership Committee. This is our three body of the foundation. Then we have to say that it is volunteer work, so it is not paid, but expenses are refunded, just like you know, uh, now I'm here, and uh, the bill for the, for the room, obviously, and, and, the, and the plane, and uh, whatever, flight is paid by the foundation must be already, yes, to be uh, elected in the membership committee, you must be already a member of TDF, standing in one of the bodies, that's just one. This means that you either have, uh, have to be a member of the board of trustees, so a member, or in the board, or already in the membership committee, because re-election is not forbidden. But, just one, only one is to say that obviously you can't stand both in the board and the national team, obviously. Okay. Um, affiliation limit, this is something interesting, is one third per body. This means that, for example, if uh, we had, uh, at last election we had this case because uh, there were candidate, uh, two or three people from Calabria, and uh, at the end, the election, um, People, the members voted for uh, two of them, and they were elected officially, let's say, but the statute says that they couldn't join both. So one of them, which was, who was Miklos, uh, decided to uh, opt out, to resign, let's say, to renounce to his role in the membership committee in favor of you. Just because they were both working at that time, both well, they were they were working for our club. This is really important, you know. This this kind of rule is all, all obviously uh, it, um, it is valid also for the board of uh, of directors, and this is to prevent some kind of hijacking of the foundation. Okay. <coughs> the means of the board have to be available for MC. This is to to say that the foundation was meant to have those two bodies of governance, which is the board of directors, obviously, but also the membership committee. This means that if something arises, uh, something wrong, something that the board decides, for example, which is against the statute, or is infringing some kind of law or whatever, the membership committee should stop that. It's, it has never happened before, but formally I have to say and advise you that this is possible and this is something that you could maybe afford if you are part of the membership team. In this moment, me. 
as a chairman. Um, and thus, the minutes of the board's meeting have to be forwarded to us so we can control what do what are they discussing and deciding and whatever. But, and also the opposite, meaning that it's a kind of balance, you know, so that we let's say control, we check their operations and they can should do the same with us. So this is a kind of balance to, to keep the the foundation more safe. But again, we never we have never stopped them and, and they have never stopped us. It's just uh, provided, it's just foreseen by the state. Anyone who can be a member for free, this means that to be a member, me, being a member of the membership, uh, sorry, of the, um, of the foundation is uh, free. This is about the membership itself. If has indicated time not trivially for at least three months. This means that, but we will see later in the, the afternoon talk, if you, if you want to be a member of the Dublin Foundation, you may apply, you may ask to, to be a member, but we have to check if you have already done something, not a trivially based, meaning that I'm not saying daily, but nor once in a time, once upon a time. But, so, uh, not trivially means that whenever you want, but most uh, mainly regularly. Membership lasts one year unless exclusion, death, or resignation. <coughs> this means that every year we have to renew members, members. And this means that we have to ask them if they want, they are willing to stay and be still a member. Which is not automatic at the moment, but we are working on this process. And uh, finally, this has to something to share with another nine to five is uh, if the 30% at least of the Board of Trustees, BOT is my <coughs> acronym to, just to be short, Board of Trustees, so if 30% at least of the members of the Document Foundation and not less than 10, they can sign election requests for whatever reason or complaints about the Board. An MC has to, must handle this kind of request and or com complain. This is from the city. Finally, again, MC represents TDF against board, handles its election and impeachment process, minutes have to be available, available for board. This is the opposite as before. So we have also to uh, send our minutes to the board if requested. And um, Finally, MC lasts two years, just like the board, but the smart thing is that the elections are alternated. So, these two years means that we have elections every year. Let's say on uh, one year you have the board elections, and the next year you have MC elections, and so on, and so on. And uh, the, board, the membership committee ha has to be at least three persons, and maximum 10% of the board, board of trustees, so 10% of the whole members. And the numbers, the number has to be odd, obviously. Re-election is permitted, as I told you before. Fine, uh, this is the end of the boring part. Is there some sitting? <laughs> Quick, uh, come on. <laughs> you have a question? Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, a boring question. <laughs> Um, you mentioned this uh, controlling part yeah. from each bodies. Um, are there additional statutes which uh, instruments uh, each body have to stop something? Because the only the sentence to have the, the protocol available is nice, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can you are informed, but where is? Where is the, the uh, opportunity to stop something? To be honest, this is something I've been asking myself as well. Uh, our lawyer has been, uh, we've been chatting a lot about that, and we, he told me this. We had not yet the opportunity to, to see exactly how that, this part works. Again, it is 
never happened, be, happened before. But uh, yes, this is something really... And it should not, but... Uh, yes, but it could. Yeah. Anyway, and as a chairman, this is something that now uh, worries me a little bit. Just because if it would, not, would ever happen, I would like to be informed in advance how to proceed, how to do that. That's why I asked you. Yes, and I, I, this is a question, again, I was asking myself, and I am planning, I plan that I'm going to, uh, to, to find an answer as soon as possible. Also because the statute states that we have to handle this, but not how. And uh, who's? Uh, it it uh, also, this, this was a recap. It also uh, cites, mentions the, um, the tribunal. So that, in this point, uh, yes, this is really short, but the, the longest, the longer form is something, I can't remember exactly the wordings, but if I'm not wrong, if I'm not wrong it uh, mentions some kind of tribunal or court, court the word was court. Okay. It says that MC represent the TDF against board in court. Okay. That's what it's working. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yes, that is a very good question. Well, this is the very first time, as I told you, I'm giving this kind of matter. So this is the version zero. But uh, I used to improve myself and uh, my presentation, so maybe next time, being faster, the version 0.1 could be much better, hopefully. <laughs> so, the rule of MC formally is to welcome first or renewal membership records, meaning that people may apply and ask you to be a member, or they may just reply to our invitation to stay, to renew their membership. Check if conditions are satisfied in every case, for the new ones and for the renewal, this, the conditions are that in the past three months or six, it depends if they're new or renewal, they, have, they uh, must have done something. And something doesn't mean uh, development, for example. It could be that, but also something else, just like the we see, marketing and more, many more things. And again, this is the topic of my next lecture in the afternoon. I stay stand and approve or reject, obviously, basing all the results of this research. Then we have to handle board elections, which are going to be in uh, uh, at the end of the year, let's say, starting from October and so on. This is uh, an analysis of the complex system of votation, and it is my infographics, let's say, that I used to do on every election. Because it's not that easy, meaning that, well, it's not that complicated, but we use a system called, called uh, um, Helios Voting, which is the web platform, and then we process the ballots via Mix STV uh, algorithm, which is not micro mix, it's just <laughs> <laughs> <Money was burnt. laughs> yes, it is. Really, more, more in, but it shouldn't be the very same person. And then we have, again, to handle board of trustee complaints that we never happened before. This is the formal, what's written in the statute. What is not uh, explicitly written in the statute is this part that we are trying to care about. To, to um, to grow our foundation and to strive getting it better. So find and invite deserving people to grow to the F members number. This is something that we are always trying to do and we ask for help for this. For example, Cisco, who left the room, uh, he's, as you may know, the QA engineer. So he knows much better than us who is contributing, at least in the development, or something that is under his control, the QA, so on the bad, bad reporting, triage, and whatever. So it happened many times that he suggested to us, uh, hey, look, this person is not yet a member, but he's contributing a lot. And, and thus we have 
uh, templates, and you'll see that, um, to invite those kind of people to join. Then, keep official documents, obviously, and database. This is also a boring part that uh, is on duty for the chairman, which is me now. So I have to sign the paper to send to Berlin and with a number, every quarter we have such a register, a structure log, to send to Berlin authorities with a list of actual and current members. And then try to be most inclusive and foster diversity. This is something recent. Recently we are taken out, say, kind of mission. Well, let's say that we just try to uh, uh, to let the, the, the foundation be more diverse and inclusive, but not talking just about the gender, but also about ethnic, I mean, so uh, place in the world, to have the right representation of the various continents and countries in the world. Uh, this is the composition of the membership committee. Formerly it was five plus two at the beginning. Then I was elected and <laughs> it's sad that you know everything was disrupted. My hurt way. <laughs> yeah, jokes apart. Uh, but what happened is that um, many times the membership committee has been just like a, a, um, a place to dive into the board, meaning that you stay in the membership committee, so you acquire competencies, skill, you, you get more involved in the governance of the foundation, and one day you decide, uh, I want to try candidating myself for the board. And that's what happened. And it's, uh, to be honest, especially when I asked for this modification, I was a little bit upset because uh, I felt that just like kind of betrayal, but being more involved and staying and, and uh, after some years I realized that it is not that. It is correct, it is natural that you get you know, uh, experience and then you, uh, you may feel ready to stand in the board. Is that five and two deputies or five and four deputies? Yes, yeah. sorry, indeed. Yeah. It means that five are the uh, say, the formal members, and for, formerly we had two deputies, now we have four deputies, just because it happened that we run out of deputies, because, yes, someone has stand for the board, someone has to resign or get ill or leave the foundation or whatever, and in this case we, we shouldn't lack deputies, because if, if someone else from the formal, from the official, let's say, membership committee uh, should resign or whatever, we don't have any deputy left. So that's why I asked and I obtained this modification. So now the membership committee has five official members and four deputies. And at the moment we have three deputies, for example, because of the problem <coughs> at the beginning with uh, Miklos and Yorana. Uh, being affiliated with the same company. So, Miklos uh, opted out, Yana stayed, and one of the deputies got in. So, at the moment, we already, we already started from the very start of this turn with three deputies because of that, three major. Then, these are some um, references about us. Uh, they are, uh, how to say, um, Adelaide, so you can, when well, I will share the, the, the slides, you can click it. They are mostly uh, wiki pages. The first one is the history with all the members of the membership committee in the history, historically. Um, these are the minutes of the meetings because at the end they have to be, to be published uh, for the very white uh, people. And we meet in person, no, sorry, we meet. Uh, not in person, very important to decide who is in, who is out, or whatever. And uh, in person, just, just twice per year at Fosden and here, I mean, not here, at the Liberal Arts Conference. Uh, mm, this is the very least. Then we try to have some more meetings about other topics uh, I mentioned before. 
And this is a workflow. So what have to do, what we have to do, and how to do it. So approval, over approval, what, what to check, what to what to see, and whatever. These are the areas to be remembered, but I will explain later in my next presentation. Sorry for the flickering, this is my laptop which is burnt, just like me. <laughs> this is made exactly here in Almeria two years ago at KDE Academy. When I was doing marketing, as you can see, with an Indian guy, really nice. And that was our stand in the, in the, the back side, close to the uh, another stand, and I will tell you about that later, privately, if you wish. And uh, so these areas, looks apart, are make marketing, documentation, we, documentation which includes also supporting other people, and uh, translation, quality assurance, infrastructure, design, and finally, but not last, development of the thing. And uh, for each, there is, uh, I didn't correlate them um, to, to be not too much boring, but there are platforms to be observed and checked to see if this kind, of, because we need evidence. That's the, the problem of membership committee, I didn't mention properly, is that we need evidence. So, for example, with marketing, it's not that easy, because if I'm here, I'm giving a lecture, how to demonstrate that? I should provide the videos only, or the slides, and that's what we look for. Indeed, of uh, the poster of the event with my name, or the program, whatever, whatever. Something that gives us evidence, because otherwise everyone could ask to be a member and could be. And the, another thing I forgot to mention is that being a member of the Dugman Foundation, the difference is that you have the power, let's say, to vote and to be elected. So the only difference being a member of the community or to be a member of the Document Foundation is to have your voice in the governance of the foundation and so and to the project. So ask what went by Telegram, IRC, that, that are all the platforms to be tracked. This is something that Gustavo is going to explain more deeply and is a tool we use uh, called MCM. Uh, which is membership management, if I'm not wrong, and it's a common line tool. And this is quite a problem because not everyone is so uh, um, used to the common line I am, but for example, I've never been using that completely. I use, I use it for just uh, inquiries, but who is in, on duty, the member on duty, this is the formal, um, how to say, way to call him is Gustavo, he is using it to the whole process. And, um, and there are also some other problems we have to solve, because this tool lasts now 10 years, almost. So, this is our desiderata, meaning that we are looking forward to have a new instrument, more modern, and to ease our work, because the all the platform we have seen before, IRC, Twitter, and whatever, we have to check them manually which is a boring thing, almost because this is something that can be automated. So it has no sense that human time has to be spent to do that kind of stuff. Is this because of the SSO? Does that make no, sense? No, 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 I mean... Because the, you have different use, everybody has different usernames in different... In, in, indeed, also, also. Yeah, on the wiki on Bugzilla, and, and when indeed. I do them onto LibreOffice, that's a problem to gather all this data exactly. and who's doing what. Yes, but at the moment, apart from that, at the moment we don't have any kind of automatic system to gather information about members. Mm -hmm. We have the bad dashboard, which is almost incomprehensible to us. Oh, yes, because the research there are, I don't know what kind of syntax, but I couldn't, I couldn't find it even myself. Yeah. So imagine. And uh, so we are looking forward and probably we will tender if no internal effort will be available. I don't know, we'll see that later. We are writing the specification for, for this tool, and that is a kind of mock-up born the day before yesterday. No, no, no I wasn't playing. <laughs> uh, I, I would like to have this kind of page, for example. This is me and the numbers I invented, so I don't do, I don't know if, I mean, completely invented. And uh, just like, let's say, a, a kind of Facebook page, something that I, where I can see the, the numbers of each member, just introducing surname, first name, or 
uh, member number, and I find it. Um, and also another big, another thing we would like to have is a global page to have statistics, meaning that if someone asks me, who could be the board, for example, and they did <laughs> at the last meeting, uh, what about the membership? Are we growing or are we decreasing? At the moment, I have to uh, recall my mind. I roughly know that, but I would like to have something more precise and be able to push a button and that immediately. I don't say real time, but at least last time, last check um, statistics. This is something we are going to ask. Uh, finally, we have the corner cases, which is where we should be able to concentrate and spend time instead of you know, the automatable things. Corner cases are people who did not contribute in the last like, six months to understand why, because sometimes it, it's a matter of a big deal. For example, and this is something really sensible. It's delicate. It's not that easy to save someone who is ill, and that's the reason, finally, because he's not contributing anymore, to say, I'm sorry, but I can't renew your membership. I can assure you, it's, it's, it's tricky, it's really difficult. By the way, and I have, even in this moment, one case, a bad deal. By the way, uh, other corner cases are once in a while, we call it springs. We had such kind of trouble with the Albanian lovely community because they used to, and this is, to be honest, I like this, because they meet in person together and they, let's say, may translate the whole program of, I don't know, 50 pages of wiki, whatever. And this is cool, especially because they used to do that in person. But from a stated point of view, the problem is that they do once in a while. And uh, this is, you know, something tricky for us. So we are also, these are the corner cases. So we have to encourage them. And I was at their Oscar, and then we have the, the conference in Tirana. And every time I have to encourage them to be a little more regular with these meetings, for example, they're lovely. <laughs> anyway. Other corner cases are people who did a lot in the past, but not anymore. Close to the, the first point. Or there is also someone who answers us, ah, this is a waste of time, you know me, you know what I do, why should I, because at the moment, our automatic reply, automatic name, sorry, asks for your old data and what you're doing, just like if you were, if you was a new member. This is something we are working on because indeed we may simplify somehow and uh, reduce, reduce the, the amount of data required. We could also, we are um, talking about this, we could also just ask yes or no. Do you want to stay or not? Because indeed we know that. So there is also people responding, oh, this is a waste of time, you know, you know what I do, uh, why, do why are you going to annoy me with such a name, which is automatic by the way. And uh, also, this is another point, no reaction to emails. For example, given that, by the statute, you have to confirm you're, you're willing to be a member, if we, if we say the automatic mail saying, hey, membership is lasting, you should please confirm if you want to stay or not. If you do not confirm, we can't let you stay in. And the problem is that sometimes mail goes to spam. For example, so we have to contact them somehow personally by a telegram or whatever, Facebook. People who know him or her, and that, that are things that happen. And again, these are the cases where it will be deserving. They will be deserving the time, the human time. That's all. I'm sorry, I've been a little bit long, so there is no time. I guess. Well, probably a couple of minutes. Okay. So in the meanwhile, thank you.